Okay. Uh, am I audible? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, Nalisha, you are audible. Okay. So, good evening, everyone. Uh, today's session is for the Global Money Week, and when we have invited someone from the bank, and his name is Mr. Rohan Kumar Sina, and he is a skilled treasury and risk manager with expertise in supervising corporate investments, risk management, and liquidity operations. So we have invited him today so that he can brief us about how, this, how he does his job, what is it about, and for those who are interested in somehow doing the same thing in the future, can just have some idea and can just like ask his question. So without saying many things, I'm going to intro, I'm going to invite him so that he can at least talk to us about like how the industry works and how how we as students and those who are interested can do the same thing as well. So Mr. Rohan, can you please come forward? Alicia, uh, sorry to intervene. Let me come for a minute and then we'll hand over okay. the stage to Rohan. You see, let me give okay. a, a short brief of Rohan. Rohan is one of our alumni. Okay, he was there with us way back when I joined this university in 2008-9. So he did his BBA from our university and was like an average student in any class. Uh, his commitment and dedication was there, no doubt. But he started as a very common fellow. And But I tell you one thing, in last almost 10 years, he has grown up like anything in terms of like his promotions, his designation has gone up to the rank of assistant vice president. That too, in a very, very important department of our organization that is risk management and compliance. Now you see, this journey is not going to be an easy one because you have to pay an opportunity cost for everything that you learn or go through. So I expect Rohan to just maybe because this session may not be for long. Uh, we do have a constraint of one hour in Google Meet. So I know him very well. He's a person who is very much committed. You tell him something and he'll be after you. He'll be for sure going to make sure that he's delivering his best. And he's never saying no to anything. Like I asked him yesterday only, will you be able to uh, be present for our, one of our guest lecture in evening hours? He said, yes, sir. And now you see, he's just coming in from his office bit late. Again, some official engagement, but still, you see in another 10, 20 minutes, he's ready for this extra hour for which he is not paid for. Now, this is all showing his commitment and dedication towards his own institution. Now, without wasting time, I'll ask Rohan to just give a short brief of his 10 years journey. Or, or, or you see, this is something where he has gone through certain corporate exposures. Now, entire discussion is aiming to give some idea to these students because they do have, most of them, they have banking as a specialization so that they can feel it, this particular uh, profession of banker, the risks, and the benefits that you have and like you see what is motivating you to work so hard and this is 10th year back to back you're getting all good promotions all good branches when it comes to transfer so let me hold myself here and let rohan start this discussion and if something is left out i'll again come back and will will engage myself into this discussion welcome rohan uh, thank you so much sir uh, good evening to all and uh, thank you so much nelesia for a short introduction it was very nice and thank you so much, sir, for your kind words. It's really an honor to be here with all of you because I, I know uh, once upon a time, I was also on the other end. I was also having some seniors uh, or alumni who was giving us the guidance to go forward in our career. So I'll start with my, uh, before LPU, I'll start with my introduction. Uh, I, I actually belong to Jharkhand and uh, that was a small city called Giridi. From there, my journey started. In 2008, I joined LPU under BBA, and uh, in 2009, okay. second, I think eight second semester, I met with Anup sir. So the day I joined LPU, my first commitment was that uh, I was below average student. You have told I was average sir. While the joining time, I was below average. I was not at all uh, like uh, having any exposure to English. First of all, the communication, which was very important at that time. I had very less confidence uh, coming from a small city and to a big college where more than 20,000 plus students were studying and facing the faculties which are from different backgrounds. So it was really a great challenge ahead of me. And uh, that day I decided I'll come out from LPU with a different 
structure at all in my my like life i will not be the same person who is entering into this college that was the first commitment i had then fortunately i i had a good like uh, mentors i will tell the guides like anup sir we had uh, some uh, few more faculties like still i am in touch with uh, Uh, just breathe ma'am just breathe ma'am then uh, pure goel sir so all these people they helped us all of my batchmates also to grow and uh, to become something in our life so this was the beginning phase so i'll start with the banking interest i got the interest same in second semester as guided by sir that time also i re still remember the chat we had in your lsp uh, evening coffee that time we were discussing about the treasury part how treasury functions uh, you are telling me about how the bank functioning how the different departments are functioning what are the departments uh, there in the bank how regulator is taking care of the financial industry in india so that discussion i still have in my mind even after 15 years so then second thing was how to go about it so, uh, sir i have completed bba i was not able to continue mba from lpu then i moved to kolkata for my mba and i did my mba from west bengal university of technology that too i chose finance as my major and immediately i completed my mba i got a chance to work with indian overseas bank but uh, before i started my career they have sent to all of my batchmates to uh, bangalore for one years for pg dbf program that is post graduation diploma in banking and finance so after one year i joined as assistant manager in iob uh, and fortunately my dreams comes to on the day one i was uh, allotted treasury rupee operations so that also was challenge for me i never had any uh, like background of uh, treasury in my course in my bba and as well as in mba although i had a small interaction during my pg dbf program that was very limited to theoretical part but when we joined we found that it's entirely different only like capital market your products it all are like you can read and you can understand but the process was entirely different it took around 2 years to understand how the treasury structure is how treasury functions and what is the like uh, to overall uh, pros and cons in a treasury department then uh, in 2018 i was promoted to scale 2 manager and i was again retained in treasury domestic department and there i was looking after the payment and settlement of our bank there i completed another 5 years then uh, after 5 years because of some regulatory requirement i was transferred to branch operations where i took to take care of uh, your advances general advances your general banking your forex your nri customers uh, desk everything i handled within a span of 1 year but after spending one year in my branch banking i realized that my interest area was treasury as well as risk so i was not feeling comfortable that time my discomfort started <clears throat> because i was i always feeling that i am losing something in my life i am not happy in my uh, professional career that every other day i was having this feeling although my work wise there was no impact all the customers were satisfied that was not hampering the customer service but it was hampering my personal thinking process then i took a big decision in my life to move out from public sector bank although it was not a very easy decision because in my family all are bankers only so convincing my immediate family my spouse and my parents at that time it was very difficult but although i have taken a leap in my career then i got an opportunity to work with equitas a small finance bank as a, a avp in risk management department so first i was given a, a project of compliance like how compliance in this bank is performing and uh, whether an, any improvement can be done so within two months uh, after seeing my performance they have allocated me the market risk portion also of risk management where i started doing the different models through which bank tracks the risk in any uh, department uh, like market related risk in the department there i spent another one year then uh, slowly i again hear same thing the responsibilities was coming one by one that uh, in banking there is one thing if you do the more work the reward will be another like additional work so okay that was the part and parcel of life uh, i got an opportunity recently 
that i am uh, planning to accept that we will discuss later but i will tell you the challenges where i faced the challenges so first challenge was i was there in the treasury department for 5 years in a single desk so sometimes for some people it's like a robotic job you have to come every day in the office you know what you have to do at what time and you have to go back to your house so 5 years i felt that i should have given more opportunities but these are the practical issues in any financial sector or any company if the senior management feels that you are good enough to handle this desk they have the confidence in you so they may not give you the chance to learn something else because they are confident we are satisfied the work will be done on time and there will be no risk so for, from banks point of view it's definitely a good thing but if you want something in your career and you feel that i am not getting it you have to take one decision either you have to be on the banks uh, like organization goals we read na that uh, how organization goals should meet with your personal goals so in practical situation this kind of uh, scenarios will come and uh, we have to be cautious when we are taking any decision we have to discuss with the people who are there in the industry whether you are uh, thinking right or wrong i always discuss any decision still till now i am discussing with anup sir with my immediate uh, family members with seniors who are there in the industry i always see the pros and cons the decision which i am going to take whether it will be a positive step or something more challenging is this coming challenges are always welcome change is always good but it should not be like that something you don't know and you are stepping into that part so this was last 15 years of my journey from lpu and uh, i'll request sir and anything else uh, you want me to highlight in my last 15 years of experience sir roman uh, if you can uh, share something on like uh, if you want to be a banker what sort of uh, requirements will be there like uh, expectation of your employer uh, i i can share you one point like transferability is a clause So, if you are into banking, you need to be ready for your transfer. So, can you point out certain things which are must, and as a banker, you should be ready to accept them? Something on risk reward system, compensation structure, as compared to the degree of risk that you are taking on day-to-day affairs. So, if you can comment something on it, will be great for students to understand. Uh, definitely, in India, if you see, sir, uh, that uh, financial sector, especially banks, I think one of the most organized sector as of now if you talk about public sector banks if you talk about small finance bank you if you talk about private sector banks it is well organized structure and if you are planning to work in a bank then first of all you have to understand the structure of the banking system like there are i told you there are different departments are there so first of all you have to see your interest so tomorrow let's suppose you are planning to go to a bank as a like you want to give the exam of ibps and there in public sector bank one constraint is you may be hired for any any role so sometimes you have a like feeling i want to work in a uh, credit department but you may not, you may not be selected for the credit department so that challenge is there so whether you are going to accept that in public sector banks the pay structure is defined so if you are joining it it will be at least for some point of time you will be having a good amount uh, and there will be less chance of uh, like uh, layoffs so there is a pros and cons in public sector then in private sector you ha- you have a chance to directly approach to a different uh, like your interested area you want to have a credit uh, exposure then you can apply for the roles which are there for credit uh, appraisals credit sanctions or loans as a branch uh, loans manager they have uh, different uh, structure or you have an interest in risk then you can approach the roles which are out there for risk roles but their compensation in the initial phase will not be that much good what public sector banks are offering but if you have a very good interest if you have a very keen to learn something new within a short span of time you will definitely cross that uh, level second thing uh, you have to be like sir told in private sector there is a chance you can be at one place for a longer period whereas in public sector they have a policy where 3 uh, years 5 years 7 years definitely you will be transferred to any place in india so that is the one constraint whether you are ready for that uh, call because let's suppose where your bank is transferring you and you are you some some through some source you stop that transfer 
again next year transfer will come they will make sure you will go to the same place i have seen the practical problems with the people they cited some medical emergency or their family issues but next year again the promotion a promotion or transfer came and the transfer was the for the same place where which he has denied so these kind of issues are there you have to be ready and uh, nowadays work pressure is there uh, be it public sector bank private sector bank the competition is too high and the market demands something very unique from the candidates like now in public sector bank also performance based structure they are bringing the culture they are bringing so definitely you have to be on your toes in terms of knowledge if you are ready to gain knowledge if you are ready to read and if you are ready to do some certifications it will be a cake walk for you but you are thinking no with this uh, graduation or mba i'll be able to survive for another 5 6 years and in long run it will be very difficult i have seen people struggling in their later phase of careers still they have not completed some certifications so many new things rbi is bringing so they are not able to correlate with their working structure so that challenge is also you have to be ready sir uh, this question was <laughs> this question is very very relevant sir today only we had a meeting our uh, supervisor had a meeting with md sir and we got a timeline till friday being tomorrow is a holiday friday first half we have to give the list of reports and the processes which were doing manually and it has to be automated within a given timeline like we have to decide a timeline within that timeline that process has to be automated because uh, uh, correctly sir the dependency on the junior staff they want to reduce, reduce sir so if you feel that automation is happening definitely in my team i am seeing two people will be like as of now we need two more people but going forward if, if this happens so in my department i am telling you two people they are going to remove like they will not take the new new addition they will tell what you have you go with that one so definitely it will have an impact on the recruitment although we have seen it's a very tight situation in the market going forward all the banks are trying it is not our banks or my friends are there almost every bank i have my uh, colleagues or my batch mates my college mates so it is a process in all the banks it is not individual bank or any uh, set of banks all the banks are doing the same sir uh not even after completing graduation with graduation also they can have some certifications like uh, one of the most renowned in banking sector is iibf indian institute of banking and finance so there all the certifications are accepted by public sector bank as well as private banks so they can start with first is dbf diploma in banking and finance so that will help them to at least have an edge over the other candidate who is also coming for the same interview so banks always prefer so this is one and nowadays i am telling you uh, apart from this uh, ib iibf courses there are n number of certifications like i'll tell you there is frm there is cma there is cfa and in india it's like a flooding sir the candidates are flooding with all these certifications after their uh, graduation they should focus along with their masters if anybody is going for master course side by side they have to do at least one of these certifications i'm telling you i have faced interviews recently where it was told that i we have candidates uh, who is having frm we, who is having a cfa who is having cma then why we will choose you so that question was uh, there and i have seen my colleagues they are left and right they are doing these certifications just to have an edge over the other candidate so these are if at this stage if these people are doing these certifications going forward for them getting any opportunity in financial industry is not at all a big task sir uh, rohan one more thing i would like to ask you like can you share any question that was asked to you in any recent interview 
which was difficult to manage and uh, somehow you escaped it any question Mm. Uh, I'll tell you, sir. Uh, I'll tell you both interviews. I had an uh, interview with uh, one of the MNCs, that is HSBC. So they started with my profile, how your prof uh, work was, what you have uh, seen. Then I, fortunately, I gone through the JD they have shared job description while applying for the interview. All the companies are giving a brief of uh, responsibilities we have to take care. So I have gone through the JD and they started with uh, balance sheet because I have written, I have been interested in my financials of the banks. So they started with the balance sheet and they started the scenario based questions. For an example, uh, it was told as a, as a bank, we don't want to increase our size of balance sheet. So it means there's no increase in the assets and liabilities, but I want to increase my profit. How is it that possible? Without increasing the balance sheet, how will you, how a bank can increase the profit? There's a limitation. So uh, I was told, okay, no issues. Uh, what we can do, we can have more floating. Like we have a fixed rate of interest and we have floating rate of interest. Our deposits are fixed rate of interest. So what we can do for the short term deposits, we will increase the rates. And for the long term deposits, we will reduce the rate. rate. This is the first thing. Because most of the senior citizens, they want a comparatively longer tenure they don't want three months six months interest second thing the uh, advanced side we will uh, go for floating rate of loans so floating rate what will happen whenever there is a reset of interest rates you will get more if it is in an in the increasing scenario so first uh, option was that second thing i told we will uh, borrow from the nhb cdb borrowing options are there so like that, I told uh, we can borrow at lesser price and we can invest in the treasury with higher income. Like we can invest in bonds, we can invest in debentures, we can invest in CDs uh, placed by other banks. There the net interest income for the treasury will be uh, there. So this is a small portion alone, but we have improvement in our net interest income. So like that, these kind of questions they expect from a candidate, those who are coming from financial sector, at least balance sheet, you should be aware how balance sheet functions, how the assets functions, how the liabilities functions and their components also. They ask me what are the components in both sides, uh, schedules, their sub schedules. So if anybody is having keen interest, they can definitely read the balance sheet of any bank. They can find the difference between one public sector bank balance sheet and another public sector bank balance sheet with the same business. So this kind of comparative analysis, they will be expecting us to do. Second thing, the Excel working. Uh, nowadays, we look up, patch look up, your uh, pivot. These are very common. So any company with the freshers as well as, because I have done personally interview for the freshers. So we expect at least some basic understanding of Excel. They know. Uh, forget about the uh, Power BI or Excel BI tools. At least the basic uh, functions of Excel, they will be seeing. Second thing in the, uh, the second interview, Again, same thing, uh, something reporting they are doing, they will always go with the resume as well as the job description, whether you have read or not. So they ask something which I have never done in my career, but fortunately I read the JD, then I gone to, I went to the YouTube, I saw some videos, what that report actually is. Same thing when they ask, I was expecting that question may come. When this question came, I was ready. So I told, I'll, although I don't have any exposure, in uh, doing this return, but I know how this return actually works and what is the requirement by the regulator. So they were pleased to know that at least I put some efforts in reading and finding out what this report is and that helped me in the, getting that opportunity, sir. Rohan, I know you are overcommitted and you put more than 100% in every task which is given to you. I have a small doubt. How are you balancing your personal life and your pro professional life? Uh, sir, simple thing. Two rules I am following, sir. First rule, when I am in I am in office, my personal life is very limited. So I will be very much restricted to the calls. It, if it is very urgent, then only my family also knows this. I have told them. So if it is very urgent, on a regular basis, one, two minutes talks happens. But when it is very, very urgent, they will call in the daytime. At home also, I make sure 
and in public sector bank it was not happening here it is happening so when i am at home so my office also restricts the call so that also i made a image that at home i will not be available anything you have you drop a message if it is very urgent i'll take care of the things but otherwise on a normal day i won't be entertaining anything and that same thing i informed in the office as i'm enjoying my family time i am uh, having the time with my family so better if you have anything urgent which cannot be avoided for tomorrow which cannot be planned for tomorrow you just drop a message i will see to it and i will do it so and the uh, weekends we have to manage sometimes on weekends we are working also that the family also has to understand you have to tell like how urgent it is if it is a regulatory thing you cannot breach so those things uh, can be managed easily sir that's uh, nothing to worry arun i i feel one phenomena is there whenever you do some hard work or you you try to take some initiatives maybe sometimes when your initiatives go wrong you are given some show cause notice have you ever got a show cause notice in your 10 years of or 15 years of your experience uh i have not received any written show cause notice but uh, once i remember in treasury a small mistake happened and i accepted also and the good thing i will tell you always accept your mistakes whenever it is big or small there is nothing harm in accepting the mistake you just tell i accept my mistake but i'll try i'll not repeat it so something i have done in treasury some transaction happened twice by two person and i did without validating that he has already completed the transaction so i was called and i was told uh, because one single zero will ruin the entire family's life not yours one single zero in banking sector and i was dealing in crores so one crore will may become 10 crores and 10 crore may become 100 crores so single zero will ruin your career so you just think even a zero can ruin your career so how you see your future in banking you just always while doing this transaction always remember this line that you forget about any number zero will ruin your career so till date i have that uh, thing in my mind so i am dealing with numbers in risk also i am dealing with numbers i always take care that numbers should not be arbitrary it should be backed by some uh, data uh, rohan if you don't mind what is your age right now uh, i am uh, i have completed 35 sir in this february you see at an age of 35 you are avp what are you targeting in next 10 years sir i'm i'm going with 5 years sir i'm every 5 years plan <laughs> so my 5 years plan is now next is i am targeting vp sir and uh, 10 years definitely i'll be seeing somewhere in evp like i'll tell you the structure how it is so from avp i'll tell you for for all of them i'll tell you from the beginning most of the private uh, structure and government structure is the same so they will have a entry level job and they call it assistant manager some will call it a officer second level is your manager or deputy manager is in some banks third level is your senior manager or some may, some may will call as a, like a manager 2 or manager 3 but senior manager then you have chief manager chief manager is some banks it's equivalent to your avp or dvp like in my case uh, senior manager is equal to avp now in this same bank if i go for dvp i'll become chief manager but where i am going now i i was uh, offered as director role that is a uh, chief manager role after director uh, you will be going for vp vice president and here also after dvp you will become vice president that is next level after vp you have svp evp and then ed executive director so this is the uh, structure uh, you can say so i am planning next 10 years at least i will go for evp sir So three, three, three. Every three years, my plan is at least I should get a promotion. Yeah, Rohan, tell tell us the secret. How are you delivering everything on time? You see, in ten years' time, you have achieved commendable uh, like portfolio, and now next five years, you do have your plan again very clear. So, what is your master of your success? Any secret that you have? Sir, uh, first is reading, sir. I first is reading, and second thing, learning with. Uh, like uh, you are you don't know anything you have to make wipe your uh, mind that you know anything in this part like when i joined risk management it was totally new to me and i was i'm telling you the day when i was frustrated why they are giving me risk i was happy with compliance 
now something I, new addition is coming for the bank i was doing mclr computation in my entire career i never read about mclr and they asked me from next month onwards you have to do mclr you start reading now so i read the circular i read the process note in the available in the bank i read the regulatory guidelines once i read it i saw the person who is doing like who is the data entry guy i sat with him and i saw what he is doing mclr was not a big deal when i came to irs that interest rate sensitivity that is very very critical in, for any risk management okay so last august i was told that i have to do irs from september on my own because both of them are leaving then same thing i again studied i read the circular i read the process note then i read the regulatory guide, guidelines on that and i recorded the steps like the person who was doing through teams i recorded and i kept a recording with me that is allowed in the uh, uh, like system with in office soft uh, laptop only for the first two months i struggled like anything sir it took me around 3 to 4 days to complete one report although it is one day job but for me it was two months i struggled and i completed in four days from there i then next step was i have to reduce the working hours i was working at least for 2 hours daily even though i was not able to complete then uh, november month i reduced it uh, to two days december one day now going forward it is even like i am ready with the half day if data is available my now that is structure also i made first early i was doing when data is coming i am working the next day set is coming i am working but now i made first i arranged the data once data is arranged it is only a one day job <coughs> so this is my plan i will always plan in my mind that how to go about this uh, around one more question which is coming to my mind is like right now you are into risk compliance uh, and uh, risk computation department do you find females working in this particular department in proportion yes. to males are they no in in proportional to male they are not there but uh, after joining i made sure if they are coming for interview they should be given uh, also similar chances i have given i have also recruited a girl from uh, like very small and nbfc because she was very keen and i found she is interested and she can do and she is doing better but other than that i have not seen like i'll tell you there are around uh, six members in our team out of which only two are girls and four are Uh, male members but they are equally, equally equally they are responsible and they are doing although they are new to this industry but we tried level best to give them the same chance what we are giving to the other counterparty like other uh, half uh, male candidate Rowan, this is my personal this uh, one sir rohan is it easy to manage team or working individually and earlier i was feeling working individually was easier sir but uh, as my responsibilities are growing i cannot be dependent on my own for everything so i started delegating the work and uh, now it is easier to manage team sir they also know what is my expectation i always discuss with them if they are feeling any discomfort let's suppose they are not knowing what what is this so i always sit with them i will tell this is what if you don't this this is the risk you are going to lose this uh, data you are going to lose the confidence of your uh, superior so be first understand what you are doing and how you are doing and what will happen if you are not doing all these three things normally we will see how to be done what to be done but what will happen if you are not doing that is also very very important to understand you see rohan i asked you this question of uh, team management is because right now in department we are running some uh, field projects where students are working in a team of 4 to 5 and then peer rating is a subject where it is a lot of debate going on fights are there in every group they they are not happy no one is ready to take a lower peer rating and hence you see the people who are there involved in that peer rating debate they all are there attending this session so you see managing a team is very tough and you see how how i can conclude your entire discussion is like if there is a clear line of discussion communication is there clearly made to team members things may not go wrong maybe it is communication is where you are lacking and if there is a gap means you cannot expect much and things may not come to you on time sir uh, uh, here listening works sir listen. if you are a good speaker you have to be a good li- better listener so first you listen to your team always have that if every individual do this na then it will be very easy to manage sir first you listen 
and try to understand what he is good at if somebody is good at excel let's suppose example then i will not force him i will slowly ask him to learn so swot analysis will help everybody can do their own swot analysis and discuss with team this is my strength area this is my weakness area this is my opportunity i can learn okay you are doing this i will also support you so swot will definitely help i also ask my team if you are not good at something try to slowly learn but don't push that you can't do uh, it cannot be possible in uh, professional today your team member is there tomorrow he will not be there he will leave the job he will go then things will come on you only so till the time he is there slowly you learn the weakness area you will strength your weakness and you whatever opportunity you have and threats are always there but uh, you try to manage a threat you can't do much sir you was threat somebody good somebody better comes uh, against you then that threat is always there so how you can co- remove that threat only by adding values into your career adding some new things learn something new i you know today i am very confident today only this discussion happens sir in the evening they are not going to leave me here they are telling it so that i made it uh, so i am not telling something i have done very big but at least today i am happy that people are going to uh, plan to retain me that gives a satisfaction i have done fairly well so i am not ex- uh, like some telling i have achieved something big in life no i have not done anything i have done fairly i have done the average work what their expectation was and if some if they feel that i should be there then at least okay i have not done something wrong or not hurted somebody everybody wants me to be in the team so that gives a good feeling always rohan what do you say i am giving you two choices one is 9 to 5 and second shift is like after 5 which shift is better for learning purpose for learning you are telling ah uh. Learning is twenty four seven, sir. Even in sleep, also you can learn. <laughs> learning should never not bound to time. I'm saying it from banking perspective. Like you see, when you go to office nine to five, maybe you do have customers working in, and you don't have much of time to discuss. But if you want to learn something, then you have to stay after your working hours with your seniors to learn more. And uh, maybe that is the time when they have some uh, space available to them, and they may guide you accordingly. so have you ever met similar sort of situation where you have to learn only staying late in department uh in the beginning yeah in the starting phase it was like that only i stayed up to 8 o'clock i stayed up to 9 o'clock stayed up to 10 o'clock also so when i am learning that was never a constant sir if i am learning if the person is ready to teach me i should be there to learn tomorrow i should not make excuse that you are not there no so how how, how i will teach you so and second thing what i am doing sir the, from the past 7 um, years precisely so every day morning 15 minutes and in the day time if i am having free time i have 15 minutes and evening 15 minutes something or other thing related to your sector you read so i no need to do something big course or uh, i have linkedin sir i have uh, connected with people ha huh? i'll this part also uh, come so i have connected with people those people who are sharing their experience through let's suppose something new uh, rbi is bringing so they will write a blog small blog maybe uh, 100 lines it will not take much time to read okay so that i am reading it so i will come then linkedin and social networking part after this uh, so this is learning should be not restricted to time sir so night sometimes i am not have, after coming home my daughter and son is uh, playing so at night when i am going to sleep i'll read something for 10 15 minutes then i'll go to bed sir uh, sorry to intervene rohan uh, there is a constraint we started this session at 650 and maybe a possibility that at 750 this session will be wiped out google hmm. has a constraint you cannot run your session for more than 1 hour so approximately we have approx- 7 minutes to go from here when this session may be like going to go out so maybe let's uh, l- look at their queries if they have some because one of them asked me a question in chat how do you manage pressure as a fresher from a university working in a foreign bank or maybe a student is thinking that first assignment he is going to land up is into a foreign bank and he is just asking you if you are a beginner fresher how will you take this pressure sir hello yes rohan Am I yeah. Able? So, sir, pressure pressure will only come when you don't know the things and you are not willing to learn the things. That time only pressure creates. 
and sometimes some pressures like uh, you have to do this immediately that I, that kind of pressure will be there and i don't think your manager knowingly that uh, he'll put something that happens very very rarely in foreign banks i know the culture so they will not push something which you are not uh, aware of they will not give something immediately you have to do this if you are not doing this from the past you will get a ample amount of time to learn but you have to make sure during that time you have put your efforts to learn and you have to go to the people if you are in the learning phase don't feel like you will be sitting in your desk and you will be learning everything you have to run behind people you have to ask them questions one time two times 10 times they will answer but in your learning phase you have to be on the lower side never feel that you have got a job and you will learn through your own that kind of mentality still after uh, 10 years in my career i have never had today also in the evening when i am not getting some reports i should have easily sent a mail and uh, sat in my chair but i went to the team i asked what is the issue what is the problem they also understood and within half an hour i thus saw problem sorted out so don't be dependent on your uh, this one like um, your uh, your understanding because uh, there are people who have more experience and they are ready to share once you do that then pressure won't be like pressure is one is for 10 15 minutes it will be there but not uh, throughout the day or throughout the like night okay uh, rohan any any suggestions for people who are impatient like you i know you are very patient anyone who is an impatient fellow and going into banking any suggestions from your side start the meditation meditation from now itself that will help definitely help in uh, reducing the like uh, what we can say anything like very excited now over excitement they will it will control i also do sometimes uh, i'll close my eyes i will uh, just don't think anything for the some time and always foresee like how it can go how you can plan the things what step you have to take for each uh, working definitely it will help you out to reduce the over excitement and do the work on time uh, rohan there is a question from sonia Uh, she is our uh, uh, final year student she is asking have you prepared for cat exam before doing your mba ah uh, yes i prepared for cat but i was uh, not able to clear but with that score i got a, a placement in uh, one recognized college that is uh, ibm or institute of business management and research in kolkata so that was fair enough for my uh, this one i took the admission and because the degree is only a little, uh, now i am failing Degree is only eligibility, sir. Your knowledge always speaks. It will allow you to enter into that particular place for an interview. It will give you a chance to attend the interview. But you are good enough in your subjects, then definitely it will uh, give you a chance to go ahead. Next question: I am placed in finance department, growing and not successful. If you can join. Ah, uh, she is trying to understand. Which department she should go for, like opting, like she is again from finance. Is there any finance is a very big which is growing, like forex, NRI segment, or any other department which you would like to recommend? Finance is a very big department because under finance you have accounts, you have treasury, all indirectly or directly related to finance. Anything with numbers will definitely link to finance. So you have to find your interest. Let's suppose you are having interest in balance sheet. then accounts is good for you or you see something all always suspicious then risk is for you then you find fault in everything compliance is for you so you have to find out what actually you are good at accordingly you will definitely get some idea or you can connect afterwards also you can through anup sir you can connect uh, i'll help you in the finding your uh, strength anybody i am telling everybody if anybody feels you need some uh, individual interaction on uh, any of your uh, career like what kind of uh, department you are uh, willing to join so definitely you can reach to anup sir and uh, we'll connect and we'll discuss i'm always there thank you rohan for always uh, be there for juniors and then I, i never hesitate asking you something i'm simply i feel like i'm giving you instruction hey rohan you have to do it even though you have gone definitely and- because see, i i came from that place and i became today what i am uh, in the industry what position i hold the three years was the major part in my life sir so definitely i have to give back yes it is always two ways i mean it's hmm. nice to have students like you 
who remember you after 15 years and they tell you that they remember your discussion that happened in campus 15 years back is like commendable. Chali, I hope like everything is done very well. It is 7.49. I request all participants, if you're listening to me, please put up your webcam so that we can click a final picture, especially the team who is coordinating this. I can see uh, Sonia, I can see uh, Abhishek, Sarbjit, please put up, huh, please make sure, uh, maybe multiple people are together. It looks like Sarbjit, you are into a sleep mode. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Actually, Rohan, Sarbjit is a very sincere guy. He actually undertaken another project of dummy trading with a company called I've seen. Five. I'm following, sir, all your posts I'm following. I've seen these you people, see? they're doing fairly good, sir. Very good. You see, Thank you so much for your time. Uh, I, I would you. also like to share about Akshay and team. They managed that currency exhibition. You see, Sonia is another lady who managed that uh, uh, movie week whereby they showed six movies. All the uh, the financial, related to financial sector, I think something yes, yes. it was, uh, I have I've seen. It is like, I'm only into planning, but execution requires manpower. They people are supporting me day and night. Hence, we are able to achieve it. And they all are very creative. Uh, one more person joining in, Bimla, Komal. Vimla is from uh, Bhutan. She brought in all foreign exchange. She gave me currencies from Bhutan. And like they people are very uh, like excited to undertake all these activities, even though there is no marking for it. And some of them, they are doing it without any evaluation criteria also, which is very good. And I'm sure that they must be going through lots of challenge and pressure, which I'm trying to build in. This is artificial pressure. And this is must for industry because you are in industry. Uh -huh. I'll tell you, during my career, uh, I was in LPO, I was working for you for placements and all, MBA yeah. projects. I was working late, but uh, I'm telling you, now I'm feeling easy because of that training. <laughs> that pressure you put that time now, now this pressure are nothing for me. You see, what I feel is like, this is this is something you are uh, feeling that you are expressing it's a bit tough. Because you see, you put pressure on everyone. Some of them, they understand the relevance. Some of them, they fail to. And they will criticize you like anything. So it's okay being getting criticized by others and even if, if one fellow is getting the benefit out of all these activities is well, the target is achieved Chalo, eh, organizers please make sure you click this picture so that we can wind up this session fast it is 7 51 show is still going on maybe we have a couple of minutes more <laughs> yes sir so questions uh, I, I i was expecting some questions more questions will be there okay but uh, because of Time constraint and at this point of time, people are <laughs> having this uh, online session. That is very ah. good, sir. I'm very feeling during our time, it was not there, sir. This opportunity options were not there. You see, point is like this is the team who is helping me in every event. I have not asked any external person to join this session. So I my first thought was let me have an informal discussion like this. If it goes well, then we can plan it for a bigger group. Uh, maybe with MBA or some other sections throughout the day but again your schedule 9 to 5 is not viable we'll see something if it is possible in future uh, now you see participants please make sure you fill up the attendance performer there is a feedback link also and if you have any query related to Rohan we, we you can forward it to me and I can further forward it to Rohan and he is I know he is available 24 into 7 uh, uh, yeah, coordinator yeah, Nalishi and team, have you done with the photographs so that we can give him the final vote of thanks? Yes, sir. Okay, photography is done. Is there anyone from team who is going to give a vote of thanks to our uh, resource person for the day, Mr. Rohan Sinha? I think it's Mr. Norbu. Uh, Good evening, sir. First of all, I'd like to uh, sincere thank you for the Rohan Sina for his insightful and experienced words to share with us. We gain, I hope I, along with my others participants, gain uh, very much from your own experience. And secondly, I would like to thank Anup, sir, for coordinating, coordinating everything. And lastly, I would like to very much thankful for the participant and also for my teammate. Thank you very much, sir. Yes, thank you, everybody. Uh, it's really an honor, sir. And uh, after 15 years, I am feeling that again I became the <laughs> student. <laughs> no, no, you 
are a trainer we are the students and uh, i have a, f- a feeling now right now i got a feeling that is like now today you are delivering a session and the people are listening to it maybe after 10 years from now some of them again reaching the same height and will be coming as a guest speaker so is all uh, is all possible definitely so we'll be expecting yes, you to be a president in a foreign bank and then coming back again into that <laughs> session too it's always great definitely. to see our own alumni prospering in their life and is actually commendable and thank you very much rohan because i know sparing time from your busy schedule is very tough you manage it somehow again one hour i don't understand how you're giving one hour uh, for me <laughs> just being a host is so tough and for you as a speaker it's more tougher than what i'm doing right now so thank you i again. think google has a limit of one hour so it would have been extended for one and a half hours also who knows <laughs> maybe 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 they also enjoy these sessions chalo theek hai for for the day i think let's wind up now again rohan you do have your personal life after 5 what you said is all correct in 9 to 5 you don't take any family calls similarly after 5 i am sure that you should not be taking any person you see one more thing where i was a, a little bit amazed in this session you said 9 to 5 i don't take any personal call and i always call you between 9 to 5 and never felt like it it's uh, like i am uh, offending you or maybe it's bit tough for you to manage it i always feel very friendly so i'll make a note of it ki first will take an appointment and will call you again no sir time. please don't don't say this personal in the sense i'm not taking something which is not relevant like which which can be taken after a five also but uh, when you are calling or somebody else also calling i know they they are calling if they are calling it means something is there so that is not a big deal because my workplace also that is not a restriction or anything but we should always restrict ourselves to do anything which is not relevant something you are discussing which have something to do with your career or somebody else career somebody is asking you guidance that interviews there can you guide me for 5 10 minutes so that i will always uh, take care but which is not relevant i always uh, try to avoid sir theek hai rohan now next time i feel like we will be meeting in mumbai ah uh, can you share the last ah, yes. company in which now from where you got an offer uh that is morgan stanley i got an offer for a director post and that is related to finance only finance department and that is data quality control okay so most really i am very yes sir no, no, so he, maybe i am joining from july month there okay we will be expecting to have some leads from you because these students may be requiring their summer internship if you see any opportunities just share it to us yes sir maybe. i do have connections in other companies not only in that one but i do have connections i'll reach out once you finalize the list those who are willing so with that uh, list i uh, we can uh, try reaching out the people and uh, get it done sir okay thank you thank you very ready. much thank yes, you very much for your uh, 24 into 7 support uh, i never th- think twice calling you up and i know you will be always please like, don't yes, sir, don't think in future also like this sir yeah, always sure. uh, please sir you see this is just a team building exercise going on uh initially there were few members now we are increasing the size of this family uh, maybe in future i have more people to ask for favors ha huh? it is like it's always ever growing so i'm going to be there in department only maybe for next 5 7 years and uh, i'll be keep on connecting you to the department uh on the same note now it is 757 almost more than one and a half hour so let's wind up this session now thank you rohan once again i i can see you in calls with i can just hear you but when i'm looking at you you look now very mature <laughs> you have put up your beard and you see white color is also coming up this shows your maturity yeah even though you are just 35 like you see you have uh experience of more than a decade more than a decade means more than one and a half decade let's wind up then maybe you have your personal obligations i do have my daughter wake up from somewhere and now she is crying like <laughs> i need to move to the same section Take care, everyone. Okay, Thank sir. You. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, everyone. Bye. Good night. Bye. Bye. Take care. Babu, kya ho? Aaj. Aaj aaj. Come, 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 come. Ah, mama, under puja. Come, 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 come. Come, 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 come.